put on some blue plaster now. Give myself just a little base tone. Remix this just a little bit over here. Doesn't take much. Just a very thin layer made with blue pigment and lime plaster, lime putty. So there's no aggregate, so I have to keep it very thin because um, if it gets any thicker than the pigment particle size can hold that uh, putty stable, then it will crack. So in other words, like pigment particle size is very fine, so therefore the finer the particle size of aggregate or stuff, the, the thinner the coat needs to be. I'm just going to spread it around, get a nice thin coat on first everywhere, and then I will do the same thing I did with the other coat where I'll just come back in and put another, another layer on. Sometimes these like ghostly effects are pretty cool too though, and it's not, un it's not unusual for me to kind of keep some of that stuff. Something, there's something in here. There's a little piece of plaster or something I must have picked up that scraped this, which is kind of cool. I can just completely cover it so you can't ever see it again, but maybe I'll just leave that because it's giving us a blue incised line, which is kind of awesome. Give myself like a cool effect around the edges. that pigment particle size is very fine and so if I get if I get this thin coat of pigment plaster too thick it will crack because there's not enough body to keep the lime plaster from shrinking beyond a certain point that results in a crack there's a rock in here or something and um, and so sometimes that's cool to look at, just a little effect. Other times it's uh, it's unstable, you know, like if, it's, if there's too thick of a chunk just hanging out there, it's just sort of barely hanging on. I'll, uh, I like to squish it down so it doesn't have the chance of falling off later. I'm gonna put one more thin coat in the middle. kind of like Venetian plaster, which is really mostly what this is. Let's 
So um, I'm, a little, I'm a little lazy and I don't filter my lime plaster. So every once in a while there's like a little pebble of some unfiltered, I'm sorry, some unconverted limestone. A little piece of limestone right here is floating around. It's probably maybe what, what caused those cracks earlier. Kind of see it. Uh, if I don't get rid of it, you can try and bury it. That works sometimes. Other times, uh, it doesn't. Whether or not there's really cool effects in the plaster from that scraping, I don't worry about that. I kind of feel like that's just a happy accident, usually. Anyway, maybe I'll leave this one just a little bit more, uh, a little more texture. 